hello everyone <laughs> we're on the side of the road we've just pulled over for a moment for a, a short break but it is a little bit noisy Jen and I are on a bit of an outing today um, we are heading north to the city of Tainan and we are heading to the final cardinal point of Taiwan that we haven't been to so we are heading today to the furthest west uh, point in Taiwan. There's a bit of a lighthouse there and uh, we've been to the north, the east and the south uh, and today we're heading to the west. So come along with us and have a look to see what you think. Well it's taken us a while. Uh, it's about 66 k's from where we live and uh, we had to negotiate a couple of traffic accidents and uh, and that and uh, we stopped for a little bit of lunch as well but we finally have made it it's uh it's not as grand or as uh, obvious as some of the others but this lighthouse here in front of us this tower is a lighthouse and uh, it is at the most western point here in Taiwan. We're going to go up a little bit closer. There you go, there's the lighthouse itself. And here, just here, is the beach at the very far most western point of Taiwan. Out over that way, apart from ships, if you head out over that way, you'll run into mainland China. And, uh, up north up there is Taipei. East is Hualien. And south down that way is Kaohsiung. And Jenny. So we're kind of glad we knew this was a little bit of a letdown compared to the other ones. Uh, because really, it uh, is the dodgiest of all of the four points. Um, the lighthouse is a rickety metal tower and uh, with a blinking light on the very top but uh, anyway we can now say that we have been to all four cardinal points in Taiwan we are going to head back to the bike and uh, work out what to see along the way back
at the Luerman Mazu Temple. Uh, somebody's talking through a loudspeaker and it's very loud. Uh, this is about 15 or 20 k's from where we were at the western point. And uh, I added this to the, uh, to the list to come and visit and check it out see what it was like the uh, the temple itself looks like it's still being built in uh, in a number of places um, you can see scaffolding and construction work uh, the main gate here is all scaffolded up and uh, oh, finally it stopped yeah the main gate here is all scaffolded up and uh, you can see the tiles and everything here for the roof uh, and the uh, little uh, corner pieces and everything. Ah, that's cool. Not sure exactly what's going on. There looks like a bit of a puppet show here. Next to the, uh, the incense incinerator. The inside of the main temple building here. There's a ship just here. Not sure what the ship is or what it represents, but it's very cool. numerous temples here in this complex. This is the, the second temple or the one behind the first and there's a third one behind this one as well. The lights, we often see them in, uh, in the temples but these ones are on a spinning platform and they're rotating and they're very cool. This is the, uh, the main hall of the secondary temple here. The roof is very, very high up. And again, there's a boat there right in the middle. We'll get a bit closer to it. It's not a boat, it's just an altar. Just here is an altar. This is the temple right at the back and it is just massive. You can see it goes way up high. Come back down. There's the incense burner there. It's a very, very big building, this one. We'll go and check it out. You can see the building there. It is just massive and we're gonna follow those people over and, and have a look. This is the inside of the third temple. You can see the, the large Buddha statues there at the front. Not sure precisely who they are. This is on the second floor of the uh, the back temple. It does have a name? I think it's Guan Xin or Guan Shan or something like that. I'll see if I can find it. So this is on the second floor of the back temple. Uh, the sign here said that this one was called Guan Yin. Didn't give any more information about it, but Guan Yin. Goddess there with many arms. And here's a uh, a Buddha with a blue head. 
Interesting. This temple here is the third floor of the back temple and it's to the Jade Emperor. The temple of the Jade Emperor. I was hoping that we might see like a jade statue here but we can't, uh, can't see any at this stage. And yeah, the temple of the Jade Emperor. The yin yang symbol here and all of the zodiac signs apparently if you walk around and touch around the circle and touch all of the animals it's supposed to balance out your life help you achieve balance in your life back here to fergie parked it in the shade which is good we won't have a burning bum this time we're just going to fill up our bottles of water here and then we're going to head off and see what else we can see. We're not sure what the go is, but there's a whole lot of people here. All lined up, ready to go in. The bell is tolling. Oh, they're carrying Buddha statues and Buddhist statues. You can hear the fireworks cracking. We made it home. 